Hey everybody, I'm Trace. Welcome to Test Tube Plus. This is Mars Week. Today's big question, do we need Mars to survive as a species? So, the Earth is already dead. We just don't know it yet, because we don't live that long. So space is really the only answer. The only way we can survive as a species is to leave the planet. And this isn't Trace talking. This is some really smart people from throughout history, including some of the smartest minds on our planet. We have to go if we want to survive. I mean, climate change, that's terrible. But if we stopped doing all that stuff today, it would take hundreds and hundreds of years before we saw any benefit to us stopping instantly. Not to mention overpopulation. We have to go to a new place if we want to keep growing as a species. And meteors. <laughs> We might get hit by a meteor that would wipe out our entire population. Uh, maybe not everybody, but we would start over from scratch. So if we could send somebody to Mars, if we could send somebody to another planet, we would protect human history, even if there was no Earth. And I'm not doing this to be a downer. I'm just saying that these are inevitabilities. It's statistically inevitable that Earth will be hit by an asteroid. It's going to happen. Or a meteor, I guess, because once it hits us, it's not an asteroid. So what can we do about that? We could terraform Mars. That is something that they're looking into. It would take a long time, hundreds of years. But if we started, we could make Mars a place that looks just like Earth. It's got water. We know it's got running water on it currently. Very salty running water, but it's there. So when I was a kid, I thought, well, we're making greenhouse gas now here on Earth. Why don't we make greenhouse gas on Mars, warm up Mars, and create an atmosphere there? That is one plan to help terraform Mars. Another one is use giant orbiting mirrors to reflect more sunlight and heat onto the surface. That'll melt the polar ice caps on Mars, release CO2 trapped in the ice. That will thicken the atmosphere. It'll hold more heat. And then they'll be able to get some O2 and nitrogen working in there. I have no idea how they're going to do that plan, because those mirrors have to be the size of Lake Michigan. But you know what? Optimism. I like it. Three, they could smash icy comets into Mars, which is one theory as to how Earth got its water, is comets smashed into our planet in way before you know, any life was here. And that brought with it nitrogen, oxygen, and water, which meant if we could do the same to Mars, we would essentially geoengineer it to be the same as Earth, if we, assuming we do it right. So since Earth is dead, eventually, on a geologic or galactic time scale, Earth won't be here forever, so Mars is our closest lifeboat. If an asteroid is coming, and it, it is coming, we could go there and we could save our species. It may be used to have life as it is. We're still looking into it. Obviously, that's part of Curiosity's mission, Opportunity's mission, a variety of other um, mobile units that they've got down on Martian surface are looking for signs of running water and organics to maybe determine whether or not we have life or had it in our solar system previously. So the thing I think, the most important thing about Mars when it comes to us deciding what to do with it is this is what humans do. We go places. We explore things. We search. And we went to the moon because it was there. And yeah, we were competing with the Soviets, but it was because it was there. Just like we left the sight of land and headed for the horizon. Just like we left the family when we went out into the world. Just like we left our tribes. Just like we left our trees as ancient primates. Just like we leave our wombs. Got to go. We got to go somewhere. That's what we do. So why not Mars? Seems like a pretty good stop for me. I would go if you asked. Just note, anybody out there? I'll go to Mars. So there you have it, everybody. If you want more Mars or you missed an episode, we have four more Mars videos waiting for you right here. Click one of these now and please subscribe for more videos. Next week, we are talking all about sleep. Wonderful, mysterious, cozy sleep. Thank you for watching.